Hi, my dear students. Welcome to English class. Dear students, hope you all are doing great. Dear students, we finished two units and now we are entering into the third unit. And the third unit deals with human relations. Uh, students, as I am not in uh, Hyderabad and I am not using white marker board and with the help of uh, ebook, I will be explaining uh, the lessons to you and I try to do my best to you. So now we are entering into the third unit uh, students and in the third unit this is entitled and it, the main theme of uh, third unit is human relations. So in our life the relation between friend to friend, uh, husband to wife and father to son uh, and parents to kids. So all are matters. They are very very essential. On the quality of the human relations all of our success, happiness, joy and everything will depend. So, if we all want to lead a happy and uh, meaningful life, we need to focus on the human relations friends. Now, in this unit, we are going to discuss about three lessons and A, reading deals with the journey, a very beautiful uh, story where the bond between a father and a son, loving bond between a father and a son is explained very well. And then another woman, be reading another woman. This is uh, related to the problems faced by the women. Uh, in India, actually in, throughout the world, we are uh, women are facing problems, but in India, there's a peculiar problem of a dowry. Though uh, the problem is uh, right now it is decreasing, but once upon a time, this is a very serious problem. So, women, we need to learn to respect women because they are not second to none. So, they are equal to us. So, the second reading, Another Woman, is a poem. It explains about the problems of uh, women. And then, we're going to see reading, The Never Never Nest. It's about the modern way of uh, living by procuring all the gadgets, necessary things on installment friends. So because of that, what kind of pressures they are feeling? It's in a funny way, the problem has been explained in the lesson, the never never nest. Dear students, now let us focus. I request you to focus on the textbook. You can see after you turn the page, the human relations, there's an image. If you keenly look at the image, you will find an old gentleman was sitting and all the people were not bothered to address him, talk to him. And see, there's a small poem was written over there beneath the image. Just look at the poem. As I sit here alone and waiting, as I sit here alone and waiting, I gaze at people passing me by. So he is sitting lonely, alone. So and the, in the street, the people are passing by without bothering to address him, to speak to him. As I sit here alone and waiting, I gaze people passing me by. I try to smile and reach out to them. So this old gentleman, he was very eager to speak with others. But unfortunately, they are not ready to speak with him. They are not ready to spend time with him. I try to smell, uh, sorry, I try to smile and reach out to them, but no one notices, no one wants, no one notices and no one wants. That is a being pathetic condition nowadays what we are experiencing, uh, friends. The elderly people who have uh, sacrificed their lives and uh, their uh, help us in uh, leading a successful life and a happy life and in their uh, prime, uh, prime age, we are not taking care of them. So, they are uh, old and they can't do very active, but it is at this stage, we all need to support them, we all need to spend time, quality time with them, but unfortunately, in the society, this is not happening. But no one notices, no one waits, no one waits. They look to me like I am nothing. They look to me like I am nothing. So, all are not at all bothered about this gentleman. Are they afraid to be see, are they afraid to be seen saying hi to an old man like me? So 
he is thinking that being an old man, I am not at all wanted by them on the society. He is telling. He is thinking like that. So this is very pathetic situation, uh, friends. Just focus on that and try to uh, answer what is the exit about, and how do people respond to the old man's plight? The plight here, the condition, the uh, miserable condition. How the people are responding to him? Are they? Uh, willing to speak to him? Are they uh, willing to take care of him? So, I, I, no. So, just focus on that. How should old people be treated so that they do not feel neglected? So, these are the important questions. So, we need to uh, discuss among uh, the family members and uh, between your friends. Just have, because I know you all are very good and kind-hearted uh, students and you will be taking care of uh, your elders and you will respect your teachers and the parents and grandparents too. So, I, I love uh, that because you all are uh, the best. Now, we are entering into the lesson. The lesson is about the journey, friends. Now, the journey is a beautiful lesson. The bond between the father and uh, sons, loving bond between father and son. And before entering into the lesson, let us look into the author's uh, description. This lesson, the journey was written by Eshe Dorji Tongchi. Eshe Dorji Tongchi wrote this lesson. He was born in May 1952. He's a prominent name in Assamese literature. He is very popular in Assamese literature. Though he grew up in poverty, he studied well and entered Arunachal Pradesh Civil Service and was later elevated to the Indian Administrative Service. See, here the author, Eshe Doji Tongchi, is a very poor man. He was born into a poor family, but despite of uh, being born in a poor family, he worked hard, he studied well, and he qualified Arunachal Pradesh um, public service examination, and he became a group one officer, and later on, while working in the service, he was promoted to IAS cadre. So it's a great achievement by all means, uh, friends. He, indeed, he's an inspiration to uh, all of us. He writes fiction, drama, and essays in Assamese and English. He has received a national recognition for his novel, Mona Aunt Mukar Hriday. Mona Aunt Mukar Hriday, which won Sahiti Academy Award in the year 2005. So, Sahiti Academy Award is a very, very uh, popular award given for the uh, writers and their contribution. So, he was awarded Sahiti Academy Award in the year 2005. Many of the Tongchi's novels include Sonam, deal with Sonam, deal with the cultural life of uh, Mompa and the Sherdukpa, Sherdukpen tribes of Arunachal Pradesh. So basically, mostly his writings deals with the cultural lifestyle of uh, the tribal people of northeastern states, northeastern states. He, as he belongs to that area, he writes about uh, them. Now we are entering into the lesson. Listen carefully, friends. The journey. After spending a leisurely Sunday at home, after spending a leisurely Sunday at home, the very thought of returning to work on Monday is tiring. Lethargy creeps in if the holiday continues over an extended period. That is how I felt when I was preparing to return to my place of work after spending six months at home. So here, our character, main character, hero, came, took a holiday on some purpose and he came to his native village. Now, the holidays were over and uh, it is time now to return back to his work, to his job. Now, we all also experience this, right? Um, sometimes we'll have a holidays and uh, we'll feel that after holidays when we need to go to school, Oh no, all, all the holidays gone so fast. Hurry again, we need to go to school. And sometimes you will be thinking that when uh, homework will be um, uh, given to you during the weekends, you all might have experienced that. Uh, these two holidays, uh, Sunday, Saturday and Sunday, uh, went over so soon. Hurry, holidays are uh, moving very fast. Some At one point of a time or other, you might have thought about that. So like that, he's also. And we don't want to go to school on Monday. And especially even after the holidays. 
uh, if we'll be thinking that if holidays were extended for a few more days, it will be better like that, right? So that, in that way, our hero also thinking. The fact that I was to leave behind my newly wed wife and go to a far off place did not help either. Obviously, I did not want to go. So our hero was recently married and he don't want to leave his young uh, newly wed wife. So you don't want because he is very attached to the wife newly married on the top of that newly married and you don't want to leave his wife so soon. But things are very essential and he has to go to office and attend the work. However, I finally did decide to go. However, he finally because there is no other go. He has decided to go. However, I finally did decide to go. Decide to go. I did not have much to carry by way of luggage. So you don't have much luggage. Just a trunk. Trunk is a huge metal box, uh, uh, friends. In olden days, nowadays, we have uh, suitcases of various sizes. But uh, um, uh, around 20, 30 years back also, people used to carry, whenever they travel, the huge trunk they used to carry. Uh, mostly it is made of uh, metal, actually. So they used to keep all their belongings into that and they used to carry that trunk. However, I finally decided to go. I did not have much to carry by way of luggage, just a trunk. Ours is a hilly terrain without any motorable roads. So because they are living in the northeastern states, you all know that you read in your biological, uh, sorry, in your uh, geography classes, uh, that northeastern states will find the Himalayan mountains and all those different mountain uh, ranges are there, right? So these um, uh, northeastern states are hilly uh, terrain actually. So in the hilly terrain, uh, ro building roads is very difficult. So that's what he is mentioning in the is uh, without any motorable roads, and there is no certainty that we are ever going to have any roads. It's very difficult and in those days uh, they uh, are not expecting that roads will be laid like in the plain lands, so in the mount, uh, mountainous region. In any case, while coming home, we do not carry bedding. Besides, I had come home this time wrong for a special purpose. What is the special purpose? The special purpose is that he is getting married. <laughs> Sorry. He is getting married. So for his marriage purpose, he came to his native village. My parents had arranged my marriage according to the customs of our tribal society. Time flew and five months into my marriage, I realized it. So marriage over and five months for this time also over, gone. I realized it. Initially, I thought of extending my leave, even taking unpaid, unpaid leave. And see, uh, students, leaves will be of uh, two kinds. So every employee will be given uh, paid leave. Paid leave in the sense they will apply leave. They will not attend the work, but yet they will get a pay for certain uh, days, limited days. Maybe for a, a per year, uh, 20 days or 24 days. Like that, it differs from private organizations to government organizations. So our uh, main character, our hero, is a government servant. So he thought, even he thought to go for a paid leave, uh, unpaid leave, sorry. He even thought un going for taking unpaid leave also. But after some dilly-dallying, dilly-dallying uh, is uh, um, a state of mind. Dilly-dallying is a state of mind, whether I should apply leave or not, like that. Whether I should go for a some, sometimes you also will be thinking that whether I should go for this movie or that movie. So which one, uh, which shirt I need to purchase, this shirt or that one. So you will be a lot of um, confused state, undecided state of mind, right? That is dilly-dallying. After uh, some dilly-dallying, I finally decided against it because marriage had increased my responsibility, responsibilities and I had got into debt. So, because of the marriage and over the top of that, six months is not into work, is not working, right? And uh, you, we all know that whenever marriages occur, so huge money is spent in marriages and because of that, people will enter into debts also. They need to, they will borrow money from others and on interest and they have to repay it. So, if they delay, the financial burden will be day by day, it increases actually. 
on my way home from the bus stop my trunk has been my on my way i'm sorry on my way home from the bus stop my trunk had been carried by a port so while coming from city to his native village his trunk was carried by a porter porter is the one who will carry luggages the problem now was we couldn't find anyone we could we uh, the problem now was we couldn't find anyone who could help me carry the trunk to the bus stop at another time of the year we would have easily found someone to help me because this being an agricultural season no one came forward to help him out to carry the trunk all are engaged in agricultural work but now most of the villages were busy in the fields nobody had time to spare for me in fact carrying the trunk should not be should not have been much should not have been such a worry for me except that my education had made me shun physical labor so actually uh, this is uh, my person uh, personally i believe that my uh, feeling is that because uh, you are educated you shouldn't do physical work it's it's a wrong notion actually but our hero has uh, uh, an opinion that i being a government employee and i being an educated and moreover i'm a government employee and the people will address me like sahib 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 like that so why if i carry the luggage people will think uh, in a shame and they think why he is carrying being an officer government that to government officer he is carrying his own luggage so if he felt a kind of a prestige issue to carry the luggage and over the top of that is very young only his education and his position stopped him to carry his luggage his own luggage that to his own luggage after all i was a government officer and the idea of people seeing me carry my own luggage was not at all amusing so he is not at all interested and he is more than what he um, uh, feels he is bothered about what the people will think students never ever uh, do things or which you don't like which you are not you are ashamed of because people may think in a wrong way because you know what is good for you and what is needed for you sometimes hesitantly we will do things so uh, your concern says your mind says that it is wrong you can do that work or you can uh, work more something like that some situations will be that because of what other people will think you will not do things for example uh, in the classroom uh, teacher will be asking you do you have any doubts definitely some of you will have doubts but instead of clearing the doubts you will keep quiet because if i ask doubt what teacher may say are you not paying attention or what my uh, friends will think classmates will think like that you will be uh, thinking and you will not um, uh, ask questions that's a wrong uh, practice uh, students always listen to your own heart what it says and think cross examine your thoughts and whether they are on the right track or not right right your track or not and then put into practice coming back to the lesson after all i was government officer and the idea of people seeing me carry my own luggage was not at all amusing otherwise for a young man like me like me it should not have been an issue to carry a 20 kilo chest on my back the chest and box both are same and it is just 20 kg you all will be carrying in uh, while going to school you all will be carrying more than um, uh, eight to, almost 8 to 10 kg of weight including your water bottles lunch boxes school bags and nowadays uh, you people are keeping some books in the school and some you only you are carrying but until uh, recently very recently you used to ca uh, carry to school huge uh, uh, bag right so uh, almost 8 to 10 kg of uh, weight uh, books you used to carry but our hero is Uh, not at all bothered uh, to carry just twenty kilos, twenty uh, kg's weight of chest, the box. So nobody came to help him out. Finally, my father came up with a solution. So as nobody is bothered to help him out because they were busy, otherwise they will help him out. But all are busy in the agricultural work. So as nobody uh, came forward to carry his luggage, so finally. his father came forward and saying that i carry his 
uh, I'll carry your luggage. And our hero says, don't worry, I myself will see you off at Dirang. Dirang is a place where the birds will come. <coughs> Sorry friends. Finally, my father came up with a solution. Don't worry, I myself will see you off at Dirang. I noticed it. How could I allow my old father to carry my trunk? So here is, on the one side, he is feeling shy. Uh, what the people will think, a kind of a prestige issue. On the other side, he has a concern for his father too. You can see Dilly Danny. So what the people will think, uh, and is it right to make my father, elderly father, to carry my luggage? So like that, our hero is thinking. I protested. How could I allow my old father to carry my trunk? What would people think? What would they say? But I failed to dissuade him. Dissuade him? Here, father is very uh, strong, de determined to carry his luggage. No father, please, I carry, uh, and it will not look awkward if you carry my luggage. No son, nothing will happen. I carry my, uh, uh, your luggage. Well, after all, whose luggage I'm carrying? My own uh, son's carry, uh, luggage, right? So nothing will happen, I carry. So the matter was settled. Sorry. It was decided that father would carry the chest, that is the box. A large crowd gathered at our place the day I was to leave. So all the village people came him to say, to bid goodbye to him. Was to leave. People had come to wish me luck. It was 10.20 in the morning. 10.20 when I left for Dhiram. My father had already left. As I had to do a bit of catching up. I walk fast. So he has to catch his father. He had some, uh, because all the relatives and friends or the village people came to wish him. So father already left. And after um, uh, uh, meeting all these people and uh, he has to rest to catch his father. And three kilometers down the road, he, uh, he uh, met his father. So he walked very fast. I caught up with my father. Father said, you are late. Would you like to rest for some time? So, he is very young man, he walked just 3 kilometers, but it is true, that area is hilly area. So, uh, when you will walk on the steps, you will obviously you will find a little more tired, right, when you will walk on the normal ground. So, he, this area being a hilly area, so continuously, that too he walked a little uh, faster, right, to catch up his, with his father. So, our hero got tired. You are late, would you like to rest for some time? Having walked fast, I was tired. Moreover, I had to cross two hills on the way up to the spot. Having walked fast, I was tired. Moreover, I had to cross two hills on the way up to the spot. I quickly sat down on a rock. My father logged at my plight. So, they both sat on, under the tree. You can see the image under the tree on a rack. Or on a rock, sorry, on a, on a rock, both sat and they took rest. Now, let us take a break. Now, for at this, let us stop this uh, at this level, and in the next video, we will continue. Please read the text thoughtfully, uh, friends, and keep working on your uh, studies. And I wish you great success in all your interviews. This is Durga Ramanda signing off.